Just focus, 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 focus. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, we have made hot chocolate fishing lures, but the plan for today is we are going to go buy some peppermint because peppermint is also like a Christmassy, like a Christmassy substance, I guess you'd call it. So, we're gonna go to Walmart, buy some peppermint. We're gonna put it in a blender. The little bullet blender that I use on the pumpkin fishing lures, we're gonna do that to the peppermint. We're gonna try to blend it. I'm not really sure what type of peppermint is gonna work the best. I'm thinking like the softer peppermint because the hard isn't gonna, I don't think we could get the hard to blend up good enough. So we're gonna put the peppermint in the blender. Once we blend that, then we are going to inject it into some fishing lures and we're gonna see what they turn out like. What do y'all think? Leave your comments down below. Do you think the soft peppermint is even gonna like blend good enough to be able to put into the plastic? I don't know, we're, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I honestly have no clue what to expect, but what we need to do first is we have to go find some peppermint. I'm not sure where we are gonna find peppermint at. I'm thinking Walmart will be our best option, or option number one is definitely gonna be Walmart, but our Walmart doesn't normally have the soft peppermint, so we're gonna have to go somewhere that has soft peppermint. Maybe a candy store. We don't have a candy store within like two hours of here, but if we have to drive six hours to a candy store, so be it, we will go six hours to a candy store and I will buy all the candy and I'll give it all away to y'all. So, just kidding, I would not. Well, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't do that, but. I'm not sure if it'd be very practical to buy all the candy out of a candy store right now. But what we are going to do is we're gonna go find us some soft peppermint first and then on to the candy store. Or wait, on back home and then we're gonna make our lures. See what they turn out as. And all these lures that I've been making, guys, I'm gonna do a giveaway for them a little bit later in December. I'm gonna try to make up a lot. I'm gonna try to make up a lot of stuff so I can have like a lot of stuff to give out. So multiple, it won't just be like one big Christmas or winter. It'll be like multiple people. We're gonna get into it. All right, so guys, I came to one of our like little local grocery stores and I figured they should have some peppermint in here. So it's the first ever pick and save lure challenge. All right, guys, so we got our peppermint and now we are gonna go home and mix it all together and see what we can come up with. Yo, what's going on guys? This is another vlogmas video i have no clue what day it is but hopefully we've been being consistent this is like a note to my future self because i haven't posted any of these videos yet hopefully we hopefully we have been posting every day we should be doing it the plan for today is we're going to be putting peppermint into fishing lures and seeing what we come up with we have some of this stewart's peppermint the soft kind so i figured the soft kind would blend a little bit better we're going to be doing kind of the same thing that we did in that pumpkin video uh -oh, i almost dropped that but we have our little ninja blender this Blender's been getting a lot of use here lately on the channel. So we're gonna put some peppermint into the blender, see if we can't make it like a powdery consistency, then go put it into some plastic and see what we come up with. Wish us luck, hopefully it works out. We've already tried to make some fish and lures look like peppermint, and that was a eh, but this time we're actually gonna make some out of peppermint. If you have any, if you have any ideas for any Christmassy soft plastic videos, let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. I have my Auburn t-shirt on because it's the day after the Iron Bowl. I am an Auburn fan. I feel like the day to support your team is the day after they lose the Iron Bowl. And Auburn lost yesterday, so we're gonna we're gonna support them today. So, all right, guys. So what we're about to start doing, we're just gonna take the peppermint out of the bottle or the little bowl that it's in, put it into the ninja. Oh, that is plugged in. Hey, that could have been bad, I guess. But <laughs> we are just gonna put the peppermint into the thing and try to blend it up hopefully the hopefully they're not too hard but i'm thinking since it's soft peppermint it should should be all right but i guess we'll figure it out in a second so here we go well guys we just uh put all of our well, we didn't put all of it in there we just put a little bit of peppermint in there this actually looks kind of good like I really don't. It's gonna break my heart to blend this up. We're probably gonna have to add a little bit more than this, or this might be enough, I don't know. We're not gonna until we mix it up, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. For a second, I thought I broke the thing, but I guess it's not broken. Oh my goodness, we might we might have broke that. All right, so guys, we got our peppermint powder after a little bit of help on the open. 
I think this should be enough. I don't really want to use all that peppermint, but oh yeah, it's perfect. So um, now we have our pink peppermint powder. I don't need the stuff off the sides. I think that's kind of, ooh, gosh, I got my eyes. Burned my eyes a little bit. We got our peppermint. That would have been better for a drop that. I would have been very hurt. I'm sure I've mentioned this a lot so far, but I did a whole duck hunting video and my GoPro was in hyperlapse mode, but I only killed, I killed two ducks. We only found one. One might have not been such a good shot. Yeah, so we have made it out to the garage and you know, our first step is always in these soft plastic videos is we are going to put some plastic in our cup, put it into the microwave for about two-ish minutes. And when it comes out, we're gonna add our peppermint, our blended peppermint. Then we should be good to inject it into our mold and see what we come up with. All right, so guys, while our plastic is in the microwave, I was trying to think of some colors and stuff that we can add to this after we, I know one of the colors we'll definitely add is maybe a couple drops of red for the second go around. And then after that, I'm not really sure, maybe some flakes of red and green for Christmas time, but I don't know, we'll figure it out when we see what the peppermint looks like. Plastic is good and hot now. It should be good to inject. It might be a little bit hotter than it needs to be, but we're gonna go ahead and add our peppermint. We're not gonna add, well, yeah, I guess we'll add a little bit. Good amount. All right. It's always kind of like nerve wracking when I pour it in there because I always think it's just going to like explode. Ooh, those are going to look interesting. One thing that I've learned with doing this is you really never know what color it's gonna come out as. Like here it kind of looks like a clear and pinkish mix, but once we once it comes out of the mold, it could like it could look totally different. So it's so all have enough plastic left and it's only gonna be a little bit. I might do some like hand pour with this. I might hand pour these too, so All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and open up the mold. That open pour didn't work, so I guess putting this peppermint plastic probably isn't the best idea, or putting it back into the microwave isn't the best idea. This actually doesn't look too bad. It's like a light pink. Maybe if we had like a bubble gum color. I don't have any like bubble gum color colorant to add to this, but if we had some, I feel like that would look really good, but we're gonna try to maybe do like a couple drops of red, but I like what those look, they're like a light a light pinkish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing as the first run, but we're just gonna add a little bit of lighter, or we're gonna add maybe a couple drops of red. All right guys, welcome back to, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm on TikTok Live guys during this video, so if you see my phone right there, I guess you get like kind of like a double, a double um, exposure if you watch my TikTok Live. But what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna add some more of our peppermint to the mix. I'm putting peppermint in fish and for the video. And then we're gonna give that a whirl. Maybe one more. All right, that should be. We did three drops, so I think that should be like a decent amount. It's another subject for another day. Maybe. That sounds good. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and take out our peppermint soft plastic. See what we got this time. 
these are pretty cool too. You can kind of see like the little red flakes of every man in them, so that looks pretty cool. Yes. They don't really smell like plastic. I mean, they don't smell like plastic or peppermint. Actually, we're gonna add our plat. I mean, our peppermint first. We just got our plastic out of the microwave. It's nice and hot, so we're gonna go ahead and add our peppermint to it first, and then we're gonna add some red. I think we're gonna do like a little bit of red. Then we're gonna add like a lot of green. Just because the peppermint's already kind of red or pinkish red, and then we don't want to like have too much red, and I think we're gonna add quite a bit of green. So hopefully these will look pretty juicy. I'm gonna have to do a video when it warms back up. up. When it warms back up outside, fishing all of these lures. All right, so now we are going to inject that. I'm excited to see this one. It's nothing to go sit somewhere and see zero deer and you'll sit there all day just waiting for them, but they're just not in your area yet. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this last mold, or not this last mold, the mold for the last time. Oh, those look juicy. Okay, those really just kind of have peppermint in them for show because the green really took those over, but look how good those look. But those look pretty, uh, let's not lose them. Those look really good. I really like the way that those look. I'm I have to post those on TikTok. The video will be out sometime in December. I'm gonna do vlogmas, posting a video every day and run out. Today we used peppermint. So we have just our regular peppermint right here in the middle. It's kind of pinkish. Um it looks really good. It wasn't quite what I expected. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker. Then on this end right here we have our peppermint with our red in it that has a few small little red flakes in it that looks pretty good and then this has peppermint and red and green flake yo what's up guys welcome back to the house i guess i ended the video at the house so i can't say welcome back to the house welcome back to me i guess i don't i don't know where i'm going with that but anyway guys what's I guess I'll tell y'all what I'm about to go do. I'm about to go to Dick's buy like two, three hundred dollars worth of soft plastic lures. I want to get as much as I can for the, like I want to get as many lures as I can for the value that I'm going to spend. So I'm going to go like a whole bunch, I'm going to go buy like a whole bunch of soft plastic lures, maybe some heart bait, stuff like that. And I'm going to give, I'm going to give it all away. So what I plan on doing is like setting up a table somewhere, just like free fishing lures and what I don't give away, then I'll ship off and stuff like that. Cause last year I did like a food giveaway and like blankets and stuff for some of the homeless people that I knew. Well, I'm not gonna say I knew, but like where they were living at in Birmingham, I kind of like saw them every day, stuff like that. So I was like, I figured why not go give them some fishing or some nice meals, you know? So, so that's the plan for today. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video that just watched. I appreciate all the support on the channel. We haven't made fishing lures in a while, so that was pretty cool to do. So anyway, guys, I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. See y'all later.